In question 6, the problem statement says, for each of the following numbers, find the smallest whole number by which it should be divided so as to get a perfect square. Also find the square root of the square number so obtained. So we have these 6 numbers 252, 2925, 396, 2645, 2800 and 1620 and for each of these numbers they are not perfect squares we have to find in each case the smallest whole number by which we can divide each number so that it turns into a perfect square and then we have to find the square root of that perfect square. So what we will do in each case for each number is we will prime factorize that number and then we will determine the number by which to divide. Okay so let's start with the first part. In the first part the number is 252. So let's start by prime factorizing this number. So this number is an even number. So we can start dividing uh, prime factorizing by dividing this number by 2. So dividing this number by 2 gives us 126. Dividing this number by 2 again, taking out a 2 again gives us 63. Then we divide this by 3. That gives us a 21. Then we divide by 3 again. So we get a 7. And finally we take out this 7 and we are left with 1. So this completes the prime factorization process. So the prime factorized form of 252 is 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 7. So if we pair up the prime factors, we have a pair of 2, we have a pair of 3, but we have this 7 left unpaired. So what we can do is we can divide 252 by 7. So if we divide 252 by 7, we will obtain uh, this pair of 2 and this pair of 3. So we can write this as 2 into 3 and the whole square of this product. So the square root of the resulting number that we will get, what will be the square root? So the square root will be this product inside the bracket. So it will be 2 into 3 which is equal to 6. So the answer for the first part is that we should divide 252 by 7 to get a perfect square and the square root of the resulting number will be 6. So that is the answer for the first part. Okay, now in part 2, we have the number 2925. So once again, we will start by prime factorizing this number 2925. So we observe that this number is not an even number because the last digit of this number is 5. So we check Let's check if it's divisible by 3. So if we sum up the digits of this number, we will get 18. And 18 is divisible by 3. So this number is also divisible by 3. So we divide this by 3. And that gives us 975. So we get 975. Now if we sum up the digits of this number again, 9 plus 7 is 16, plus 5 is 21. So this is still divisible by 3. So we divide by 3 again and that gives us 325. Now this number is not divisible by 3 but because the last digit is 5 we, it, it, it is divisible by 5 so we divide by 5 and this gives us 65 and now 65 is divisible by 5 again so we divide by 5 again and this gives us 13 and finally we take out the last prime factor 13 and that leaves us with 1. So the prime factorized form of 2925 this number is 3 into 3 into 5 into 5 into 13. So if we split up the prime factors into pairs, we have a pair of 3, we have a pair of 5, but this 13 is left unpaired. So we can divide the original number 2925, we can divide this number by 13 to get a perfect square. So if we divide this by 13, what will we be left with? we will be left with a pair of 3 and a pair of 5. So we can write that as 3 into 5 and the square of this. right? So the square root of the resulting number that we get after division by 13 will be this product inside the bracket which is 3 into 5. So the square root will be 15. So this is the answer for part 2. We can divide the original number 2925 by 13 to get a perfect square and the square root of the resulting number will be 15. So this is the answer for part 2. Okay, now coming to part 3. In part 3, 
the number that we have is 396 so once again we will start by prime factorizing this number 396 we can see that this is an even number the last digit of this number is 6 so we will divide we will start by dividing this number by 2 so if we divide this number by 2 we will get 198 and this is still even so we'll divide by 2 again and that will give us 99 now 99 is not even but it is divisible by 3 so we divide by 3 and that gives us 33 still divisible by 3 so we divide by 3 again and that gives us 11 and then we take out the last 11 and that gives us 1 so that completes the prime factorization process so 396 can be prime factorized as 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 11 so if you split up the prime factors into pairs we have a pair of 2 we have a pair of 3 but this number 11 it's left unpaired so we can divide 396 by 11 to get a perfect square okay so let's divide 396 by this unpaired prime factor 11 and that will give us uh, it will give us a pair of 2 and a pair of 3 so we can write this as 2 into 3 whole square so this is how we can write this as and this means that the square root of the resulting number that we get will be this product inside the bracket so this will be 2 into 3 so to and 2 into 3 is equal to 6 so the answer for part 3 is that we can divide 396 by 11 to get a perfect square and the square root of the resulting number will be 6 so this is the answer for part 3 all right now coming to part 4 in part 4 the number that we have is 2645 so let's write this number 2645 and start by prime factorizing this number so this number is not even because the last digit is not an even number so it's not divisible by 2 and if you sum up the digits of this number you will get 2 and 6 is 8 8 and 4 is 12 and 12 and 5 is 17 so the sum of the four digits is not a multiple of 3 so this is also not a multiple of 3 but it is a multiple of 5 and if you take out a factor of 5 you will be left with 529 now 529 is a number that we saw earlier in this exercise when we were calculating square roots by prime factorization if you factorize 529 if you find the prime factors of 529 you will find that none of the prime factors 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 none of these prime factors are factors of 529 the prime factor that is a the, the prime number that is a factor of 529 is 23 in fact 529 is the perfect square of 23 so if you take out a prime factor of 23 you will be left with 23 and if you take out this prime factor also you will be left with 1 so the prime factorized form of this number 2645 is 5 into 23 into 23 so if you pair up the prime factors you have a pair of 23 but you have only one 5 so this 5 is left unpaired so what you can do is you can divide this number 2645 you can divide it by 5 and that will give you a perfect square it will give you 23 into 23 which you can write as 23 square and hence the square root of the resulting number can be written as 23 which is this base here so the square root can be written as 23 so the answer for part 4 is that you can divide this number original number 2645 you can divide it by 5 to get a perfect square and the square root of the square number so obtained will be 23 so this is the answer for part 4 all right now coming to part 5 the number in part 5 that we have is 2800 2800 so let's begin by prime factorizing this number this number is a it's, it's an even number because the last digit of this number is 0 so let's start by dividing this number by 2 so we divide by 2 and that gives us 1400 this is still even so divide by 2 again gives us 700 
still even so divide by 2 again and that gives us 350 so that's even yet again so we divide by 2 and this gives us 175 now 175 is not even it is also not a multiple of 3 but it is a multiple of 5 so we divide this number by 5 and that will give us 35 and this is still divisible by 5 so we divide by 5 again and that gives us 35 divided by 5 is 7 and then we take out this last prime factor of 7 and that leaves us with 1 so we have completed the prime factorization process and the prime factorized form of 2800 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 so 2 is repeated 4 times then we have 5 which is repeated 2 times and then we have a 7 so if we pair up the prime factors we have a pair of 2 we have another pair of 2 we have a pair of 5 but we have this 7 which is left unpaired so to get a perfect square we can divide 2800 by this unpaired prime factor which is 7 and if we do that what will we get so we will get two pairs of twos and a pair of five which we can write as two from the first pair another two from the second pair and five from the pair of five and we take the square of this so this is what we will get and this means that the square root of the resulting number will be this product inside the bracket so this will be 2 into 2 into 5 that's 4 into 5 or 20 so the answer for part 5 is that to uh, get a perfect square we can divide 2800 by 7 and the square root of the resulting number will be 20 so this is the answer for part 5 all right now we finally come to part 6 in part 6 the number that we have is 1620 1620 as always we start by prime factorizing this number this number is an even number because the last digit is 0 so we start dividing this number by 2 so we divide it by 2 and that gives us 810 this is still divisible by 2 so we divide by 2 and that gives us 405 now this is not divisible by 2 but it is divisible by the next prime factor which is 3 so we divide this number by 3 and that gives us 135 and this is still divisible by 3 so we divide by 3 again and that gives us 45 45 is once again divisible by 3 so we take out another 3 and that gives us a uh, 15 because 3 into 15 is 45 and we take out a 3 again and that gives us a 5 now and then we finally take out this prime factor of 5 and that leaves us with 1 so the prime factorization process is complete and the prime factorized form of 1620 is 2 into 2 and then we have 3 is repeated 4 times so we have 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 and then we have a 5 so if we pair up the prime factors we have a pair of 2 we have one pair of 3 we have another pair of 3 and then we have this 5 which is left unpaired so we can divide 1620 by this unpaired prime factor 5 and that will give us a perfect square and what will we get so from this pair of 2's we take 1 2 from this pair of 3's we take 1 3 and from the third pair of 3's we take one more 3 and then we put a perfect we put a square outside this so this is the perfect square that we will get so the square root of the resulting number will be the product inside the bracket this number so this is 2 into 3 into 3 and this is 2 into 3 is 6 6 into 3 is 18 okay so the answer for part 6 is that we can divide 1620 by 5 to get a perfect square and the resulting number will have a square root of 18 so this is the answer for part 6 and with this we have completed all the parts of question number 6 to learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers